first in Weasels Over Syria, Mission 9, Part 1. This is going to be a two-part mission, according to the briefing. Uh, this is going to be for new players, uh, players that are new to DCS or new to DCS campaigns. I want to be walking you through step-by-step step all the things that I do. If I do forget to explain something that I do, let me know in the comments section below. Hey, how'd you do that? I'll get you an answer. Uh, for those of you who have been watching uh, each one of these, um, just know that I'm going to be repeating myself quite a bit on things that I've already explained. It's because I don't want I want this to be a reference point, not necessarily like you need to watch it chronologically. So if if someone wants to find out hey, how do you do this in mission nine, part one, uh, they don't need to watch all eight missions prior before they can get to this one and know how to do everything right. So I'm going to still explain things I've already explained eight times by now. Um, so that's why I'm doing that. If you see that, so let's get started. Mission 9, Talon Rid. Alright, so, it's dark. We're going to use our flashlight so we can see the cockpit. It's hard to see the buttons, so to do that, you're going to press Left-Alt-L. There you go. Now you can use your mouse. You've got your flashlight. Turn on the battery, then use the F10 menu to contact Insulate Ground and request startup. The radio is already set. Alright, we're going to come down here, turn on the battery. I'm just going to go all the way to main power. Close the canopy. And we'll lock that down. Sound like, oh, yep. Got a couple strike eagles going out. This is going to be a big operation to say, uh, to go and rescue this pilot. All right, let's contact ground. So backslash F10, you can turn on immortal or just request startup. We're going to hit F2 for request startup. Insulate ground, sword 2 1 requesting startup. Sword 2 1, clear to start. And I'm not sure if we proper procedures. Just getting this thing in the air as fast as we can so we can start having fun. Uh, I guess we're not getting a Hemix tonight. Lock that. Parking brake. All that looks good. We'll leave that low. Just turn this up just a little bit because it's dark. Turn that all the way up, it's going to be blinding. Are we looking 20%? We're going to go over the horn. And back here. And I like my console's floodlights all the way up. And I like my console's lights all the way up. Did that in real life too, I always had them on as bright as I could. Set the VHF radio for sword flight. Press spacebar when ready. So sword flight, uh, we're gonna right shift K and left and right uh, brackets to cycle through our kneeboards. We're gonna go all the way up to the campaign mission kneeboard here. We're gonna pin this one. This just shows all our presets on our radio. And then because this is a new uh, airfield, we're also gonna pin the Inserlik airfield diagram here as well. So that way we know where we're going and everything. So back to here, sword flight is ah, different. It is reset four, so COM two, four, enter. And then space bar. Sword two two lead, radio check. I'm gonna turn off my flashlight. Okay, left, Charlie. left alt L. Copy rotor, you good to go? Affirm four, good start. I'll be right behind you. Continue with startup. When ready to taxi, contest, uh, contact Inserlik ground using the F10 menu. Make sure to reset the radio frequency first. So yeah, we're still on uh, sword frequency, so right shift K. Inserlik ground is COM2-1, so COM2-1, enter. It's so reset, ready to go. All right, just continue setting everything up. Everything's good here, everything's good there. I want to bring the instrument panel down a little bit. Ah. Our alignment's done, so we're gonna set this to nav, and then dauber left, and we're gonna hit six for time. And we're waiting for this to say GPS system, at least according to the change log from the last update. Needs to say GPS system, I guess is one of the prerequisites. I've heard some people just throw mids on right away after the alignment. They haven't had any problems, but uh, knowing the way things go, a fix will be put in because they want this to say GPS system and then
throw in on mids right after the INS alignment's finished. There it says GPS system. Uh, then you won't get data link or something and things change. So I'm just gonna go by what they said. Turn mids on, right dauber left. And we are set and ready to go. So backslash F10, we can turn on immortal or we can just request taxi. I'm gonna hit F2, request taxi. It's like ground, sort two requesting taxi. So two clear to taxi. From parking, turn left onto India Loop and follow a taxiway around to the left to the taxiway Sierra. At Sierra, make a right turn to follow a taxiway to runway 05. All right. Left onto India, right on Sierra and follow for 05. Sort two one. All right, so here we are on India Loop. We're going to turn left on India and we're just going to go around this loop. Come down and we're going to Sierra to turn right on Sierra. So I guess we're going to have to cross the runway. I don't know, I'm guessing when we get up to the runway, we'll get clearance to cross it, and then we'll go over to Sierra, turn right, because uh, you can see S, Sierra, Sierra, Sierra. Uh, this one's November, 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 November back here, so this is November, India, right on Sierra. Although it says Charlie, because once we leave the loop, we're on Charlie, but I'm just guessing that's just stay on this one all the way over to Sierra, so we're going to drop the knee board and taxi out. Nose wheel steering. Push the throttle up. Let go of the brakes. We're gonna turn left. We got a little prompt there at the top right. Turn left out of your parking area. So I guess they... I'm guessing we're gonna get prompts. Let's see. And this, that's how I do it in other missions as well. I'll continue ahead on India Loop. Okay, it looks like we're going to get guided by the mission prompts through this whole taxi. Let's see. But if you're ever curious, uh, well, where the heck is Sierra? Just pull up the airfield map. They usually have them on each map. It's in the kneeboard by default. You can just pull that up and it'll show you where everything is, where all the taxiways are, what they're called. Stay, okay, keep to the left, continue to follow the taxiway. They've got those, those Humvees in the way there. They really want you to go this way, so we're going to keep going this way. That's cool, though. Keep people from getting lost. All right, and I guess we're going to be crossing the runway up here. Oh. Well, yeah. I'm All right, let's go turn our goggles on so we can see the uh, your other right. I'm going to Sierra. Mm. So we were supposed to turn right back there on November, I guess. I'll turn around. So November, unless maybe I'm reading the chart wrong, maybe I'm looking at the wrong side or something. I have been known to be wrong <laughs> quite often. Uh, all right, November, uh, maybe this is Sierra. I don't know, maybe I'm reading the chart wrong. So continue straight on Taxiway Sierra. All right. I must have done something wrong. I did think it was weird. Like, why would we cross the runway and just come down to EOR on, on this side? All right, we're going to turn left on Alpha there.
So I believe that's EOR. Yep. Let's turn our goggles on so we can see. I mean, there's the line, but... And then you can adjust the brightness. You don't want to, like, blown out or anything like that. <laughs> Just get it to where you're comfortable. Like, that's good for me. Turn left, stop at the hold short for runway 05. So the threshold's right ahead of us. We're going to drop, push the uh, brakes, and stop right here, and we're contact the tower. So right shift K, and let's go to towers 2. So com 2, 2, enter, spacebar. That's right, towers are 2, requesting takeoff. Zero two one, you're clear for takeoff, runway zero five, winds zero four two for ten knots. Alright, zero five. Zero two one. Proceed with takeoff once you're airborne. Hold heading zero five zero. Stay below fifteen hundred feet AGL. Alright, so, AGL. So, this right here is not AGL. This is your radar altimeter, which is technically AGL. So you're going to be watching this to stay uh, below 1500 feet AGL. Alright, so, we're going to push the throttle up, and we're going to hit the tanker first, so, according to the briefing. So I'm just going to go all the way up into burner. There we go. Turn off nose wheel steering, into burner, let go of the brakes. Put on the landing light, and you can just tap the brakes until you get about 100 knots, and then you can use the rudder to guide you from that point. You got enough air around the rudder. Wheels up, gear up. Stay zero five zero. And we're going to trim this out a little bit. We're a little heavy on the right wing. Out of burner. Back to full mill. And we're going to drop this right about here. And we're only about a thousand feet AGL. Departure is three. All right, departure, oh, zero five zero. Let's get back over there. So, com two, three, enter, space bar. Interlock departure, sword two, departing, runway zero five. Sword two, turn heading zero nine zero, climb flight level two zero zero. Turn zero nine zero, climb flight level two zero zero, sword two one. All right, zero nine. Up to Angels 20. Get ourselves on the right heading here, and then we're going to go down here and hit our uh, attitude hold and keep the roll on attitude hold as well. Get ourselves on 090. Up to Angels 20. And now that we're in the air, we can turn up the gain on our goggles a little bit. There we go. Alright. I'll get back over to zero 090. Zero. We're getting pushed to the right a little bit, so... Just keep kind of a slight left bank. So true, maintain zero 090. Zero. I know, I'm trying. That's my bad. Like, I really enjoy these. 
A lot of fun. Coming up on 15,000 feet, we're gonna climb on through. We're losing speed, so I'm gonna drop the nose. Start gaining speed. Nope, we're just holding. That's good. I'll stay right here. Oh, we're losing speed. Okay, well, drop the nose a little bit more. Usually, I'll do like a two and a half degree climb when I'm real heavy air to ground ordinance. There we go, starting to gain a little bit of airspeed here. Try and hold that two and a half degree climb. Come on, two. Let's go. Talk two, in-suite departure, landing off. All right, off to steer point one. So we're gonna click this down to steering select. It's gonna take us over to waypoint one over here. Set VHF for sword flight. Press space bar when ready. So com two, four, Enter and spacebar. Sword 2-2 two, two lead pushing for waypoint 1. Sword 2-2. Two, two. Alright, still trying to get ourselves up to Angels 20. Alright, let's get uh, the uh, tanker information up here. So right there at the top of your kneeboard, you can see uh, Sentinel, Vacuum, Dark Star, Magic, Arco, Texaco, and Shell. We know that we are assigned to Texaco. So over to the right is the radio frequency for Texaco, as well as the TACAN 66 X-ray. And we are Angels 20, I just passed through it. Go back down a little bit here. 20, there we go. Altitude hold. So, set up the uh, tack end. So right shift K. We're gonna hit ILS, is number one here. And then dauber down to the channel. 6 to 6, enter. And then we're already in X-ray, so we're good there. And we're gonna dauber right, change to Transmit receive and then dauber right again for air to air transmit receive. And I'm not pulling anything, so maybe Texaco might not be turning it on yet. And then down here we want to set this to TACAN, so you can just hit the M button here, mode button, to get out of nav. We're gonna go to TACAN. Coming up on waypoint one, we are 13 miles out. As you can see right here, you got 13 to waypoint one, 12 to waypoint one. But I wanted to set up the tack in just so that it's ready to go. There's two. All right. Two, lead approaching waypoint one, checking in with Sentinel. Let's find our way into Syria. I'm gonna switch to waypoint two. Switching on uniform. 
Press this up arrow right there, and because we have steering select and altitude hold, the autopilot is flying for me. I don't have to do anything. So hands off the throttle and stick right now. We're gonna go right shift K, and we need to contact Sentinel on uh, preset six for COM one. So COM one, six, enter, space Who's bar. There? Sentinel, sort to airborne on mission 1084, approaching the gold corridor. Copy, sort to, you are clear to win a gold, Angels 2-3. Two, 2-3, three. Two, three. Angels 2-3, two, sort 2-1. All right, so we're gonna set this to... Head on a swivel goal. rotor. Busy airspace up here. And start Four, climbing. Two, two. So backslash F10, F1, talk to rotor. So that was Inserlik. Yeah, that was it. Shame we couldn't stay. I would have loved to get into the city. I think we've got more pressing matters at hand, rotor. I know, I know. I'm just kidding around. That pilot must be going through hell on the ground. I hope not, but it can't be good down there. Surrey school is bad enough, but at least you knew deep down you were getting out of it. Oh man, this dude is for real? In Surrey of all places? With all the shit going on down there? Not a good place to be in. Well, that's why we don't leave people behind. We'll get him back. Amen to that, Forrest. Alright, Angel 23, altitude hold on the cool. autopilot. Cool, not thrown on goggles for a while. Taking from getting used to again. Oh, I hate these things. Me neither. But they at least make it easier to see Sam launches. True enough. Probably gonna need them. Sounds like the Syrians are bringing a lot of toys to the party. They seem pretty keen to stop us, all right. Eh, doesn't look like either side's backing down. Lambs to the slaughter, then. I really hope you're not referring to us, Forrest. <laughs> so I actually got to uh, try these things out. Uh, Luke uh, had a pilot uh, that came out and uh, I was launching him and we were doing some night night ops, uh, night training, and um, I was assigned to his jet. He walks out and had his uh, goggles with him. It was actually surprisingly clear. Um, I expected it to be kind of like, kind of like this, but it didn't look like this at all. At least not from what I remember. He turned him on and put him on me, and I was looking around the flight line, and it was like, it was beautiful. I don't, I don't know what model he had, but it was surprisingly clear, crystal clear, really cool. I like the effect of these though, the, the little static, you know, it looks pretty cool. But at least in the ones that, I, that he let me wear and uh, that he put on my head <laughs> at Luke, those looked a little different than this and they, uh, at least the image looked a little different. And it was very clear and I had a much better field of view than just this little circle. I could see really well. It was very impressive. Alright, so we're just taking this corridor out to waypoint 2. Once we get there, we're going to head out towards the, uh, go find the tankers. And we are assigned to Texaco. Night. This 
map. Egypt, I, I feel like the, the, uh, I, I feel like the city of Egypt just looks incredible at night on that map. But this looks really, really cool. I thought there was, uh, or maybe, maybe we passed it. I thought there was another airfield out here somewhere. All right, coming up on two, 13 miles out, about a minute and a half till we get there. You see the countdown. I don't know if I called that out last time I showed you. So 12 miles to waypoint two, minute and 18 seconds, uh, estimated ETA at the current speed. turn so I might hit it here in a second before we get there all right switch into three start our turn uh, I want to get a little closer all right now we'll go to three <laughs> Point two. Come there. south for the tanker track. I don't want to miss three. the trigger. <laughs> Head towards tanker track at waypoint three. It's nice to have the Hemix, but. get a, a J Hemix, that would be great. Right now we've just got the Hemix um, helmet mounted queuing system. If we get the J Hemix, it's the joint helmet mounted queuing system and you can actually see, I mean the A10C in uh, DCS already has it, so if you want to know what that looks like, fly the A10C2 and uh, you can see what your buddies are targeting, uh, like when you're looking through your hammocks, you can see all of their stuff and and your stuff. It's it's really pretty slick. It works together in a in a flight. But right now, all we have is the hammocks. I I don't see what what they see. They can send me stuff through the data link, and then I can see what they're telling me to look at. But I don't actively see what they're walking up or looking at. So. I know at Eielson, when I was at the 18th, uh, right before we shipped our birds off to Korea and exchanged for their older birds, which are still there, if last I checked, the, the birds that were at, uh, I want to say Osan, uh, are still there, and those are the aggressors now, and our birds, the old 18th fighter squadron jets are over in Korea right now. Anyway, before we sent them over, we had to send them to, uh, I want to say Hill, Hill Air Base, and they got the Block 50 package. They got the little little thing over here, and they got the helmets, and from what I was told, they were j hammocks, but I never got to put them on, so I don't know, but I just remember all the pilots being all excited. Like really excited. <laughs> okay, Rotor. Tanker track is ahead. Let's make contact with Texaco. Switch on uniform. Alright, right shift K. 
Texaco is five. So, COM one. Five, enter. Two set. Space bar. Texaco, sort two one, request rejoin. Sort two one, Texaco. Fifty code eight is twenty, one mile trail. Twenty. Sort two one. Nose down a little bit. Tacan 66 X ray. And we'll just double check. Yep, 66 X ray. Okay, I'm not getting anything though. Let's see. Hit zero, enter to go to Yankee. Zero, enter back to X ray. Let's turn it off. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they need to fix the air to air. Oh, well, maybe I'm wrong. I, I thought it needed to be an air to air. So now we have Texaco beacon, Dauber left, and now on the TACAN we can see where Texaco is. This little arrow here is pointing towards Texaco, and then you can see the distance. So we're 29 miles away from Texaco, and looks like she's at Angels 20. So we're just gonna descend down to Angels 20. Get our goggles on so we can take a look and see if we can find her. 27 miles. Angels 20, I bet you. DMS down, RDR cursor, and TMS up. I bet you that's her right there. All right, so let's start a left-hand turn. I'm gonna turn off the autopilot, so autopilot off. Turn our goggles on, and let's head that way. I have a feeling... I have a feeling that's gonna be her. There's someone there. Nope, she's descending, so that's not her. Alright, take a look at the tech in. Straight ahead, 17 miles. Yeah, I'm going to stay a little high, just until I can see her. 15 miles. We're closing in on her real quick. Straight ahead. I see something right there. Slow down. Nine miles, we're closing fast, so I'm gonna climb up just a tad. <laughs> I think that's her. Yep, there she is. All right. Yep. Sword 3. Go for Sword 2. How are you boys doing? Enjoy the intro, like. I hope you're well rested. Wish we had the chance, but we're good to go. Okay, good then. Once the bug's finished on the tanker, we'll get gas first. We'll then push into CR with the initial wave. While we're gone, hang on the tanker and keep your tanks full. Be ready to relieve us when we make the call. Copy y'all. complete exit when ready all right so I know I read that the the, um, the whole campaign was supposed to be flyable without hitting the tanker but I don't know I kind of wish we could hit it I think it'd be fun especially at night man this would be fun uh, I'm wondering if I stay here long enough, if I might be able to hit her. Just hit the tanker and oh, let's climb up.
Come on. You want to climb? <laughs> She's flying real slow. It's taking quite a bit to get me. <laughs> I hit the burner just a little bit here. So yeah, that is how you find a tanker in the middle of the night. Got to use that tack in, get that tack in frequency in, and, or channel in, and uh, uh, look at your. Uh, I think it's called the H HSI. Make sure you're in, uh, let's lower the gain here, well, make sure you're in TACAN mode, but yeah, that's it, hope this helps, those of you who may be stuck, couldn't find the tanker, or whatever the case may be, I'll see you guys in the next one.